Hello and welcome back to another video on the Football Zone and to a midweek preview. Uh, yeah, previewing all of the Championship and the Champions League action this midweek. Normally we do this on Twitter, but yeah, I thought we'd change it up and put it on YouTube from now on. But let's get straight into it with Huddersfield versus Blackburn. This is an interesting game. Huddersfield, um, yeah, they're having a great season so far, as are Black Blackburn. Uh, obviously Blackburn getting a really good result of the weekend. For Huddersfield... Uh, obviously, it wasn't as great, um, but yeah, still expecting this to be a really, really tight game. Um, but I just fancy Huddersfield to nick it. I don't know, it's just something about Blackburn getting a 5 on win, then going straight back down to earth. It just seems like it happens quite a lot, so I kind of fancy Huddersfield to nick this. 1-0, should be a great game though. Moving on, Hull take on Blackpool at the KCOM Stadium in a crucial game towards the bottom of the championship. Hull in fifth, uh, technically bottom, uh, now with Derby's points deduction, uh, if that wasn't counted. Yeah, it's just really not going well for them at the moment. Lost the last three. Uh, Blackpool, though, they have won two on the bounce, so looking ever the more confident. Um, but for me, Hull have to be looking at winning this game, because if they don't, uh, then yeah, I can't see it where's, win, where a win's coming from. But I just can't see them doing it. I think they'll be held by Blackpool. Moving on, Middlesbrough host Sheffield United at the Riverside. And yeah, this is another game where I kind of feel like it is must win for Neil Warnock. Um, lost the last two now. One against Reading, one against Blackpool. Two games which arguably you could argue they could win. Uh, Sheffield United 2-0 win last time out. And it looks like they're finally starting to come strong in the championship. So yeah, it definitely won't be easy for Neil Warnock. But I do think the sort of game where he has to get a point. I've got a feeling he will. Um, moving on, Preston v Stoke is up next. Um... Preston, obviously, it's been a bit of a mixed bag to the start to the season, especially at the moment. Uh, four draws from the last five in all competitions, um, and all of those draws came in the championship. The win came in the cup um, against Stoke side, who have won the last two, and yeah, they're really starting to get back into the rhythm after a bit of a down period for a few games. Um, and yeah, I fancy them again here because they're looking really, really strong at the moment. Um, so I'm going to say one 0 Stoke win. Moving on. QPR host Birmingham at um, the Key and Prince Foundation Stadium. And yeah, um, QPR, obviously, it's really not been going well for them in the league. Um, lost three, the last three in the league and drew the other. Um, so they need to get a win here against a Birmingham side who have only picked up one point from the last three games as well. So yeah, I think both teams will see this as an opportunity to kind of turn their form around. And I've got a feeling with home advantage, it will be QPR that do it. I'm going to say 1-0. Moving on, Cardiff take on West Brom. And yeah, it certainly seems like the pressure is going on um, Mick McCarthy um, at Cardiff. They've lost three in a row now and took a hammering last time out. Down to 13th in the table. I think they kind of would have expected more. West Brom in second, however. Um, yeah, lots of draws recently, but a crucial win last time out coming from behind, which is a really positive result for them. And I think they'll continue it um, here and heap more misery on Mick McCarthy and Cardiff. I'm going to say 2-1. Moving on, Barnsley host Nottingham Forest at uh, Oakwell. Barnsley, um, yeah, I'm quite worried about Barnsley at the moment. I can't lie. Lots of draws and then 1-0 lost to Blackpool last time out. Uh, it just doesn't seem to be clicking under Marcus Schopp. Um, but Forrest, um, four points from the last two. It seems to be on the up ever since they sacked Hewton. So this is a really interesting game. Get the feeling that both teams will be targeting a win out of this. And I think Barnsley might just nick it. I've just got a feeling it will be a loss for Steve Cooper's side. Moving on, Derby host Reading at um, Pride Park. And yeah, this is another really interesting one. Derby obviously losing last time out against Sheffield United. 1-0. Uh, but... Yeah, they weren't awful by any stretch of imagination. Of course, that Kelly Rue sent off. Reading kind of on an awful run of form, but since one of the last three, and are suddenly looking really, really solid here. And I think they might pick up another win at the moment. Volko Panovic has been absolutely flying. Um, and I think it will be another win. I'm going to say 1-0. Moving on, uh, Luton hosts Coventry in the Nurse Championship at Kenilworth Road. And yeah, this is an interesting game. Luton won this in the last five. However, they've only lost one of the last five. Whereas Coventry are absolutely flying. But I think lots of people are kind of expecting Coventry to fall away. So it's a question of if and when that does happen. And when does it start? But for me, Coventry just looks so good at the moment. I don't think they will um, anytime soon. But Luton will be a tough competitor. And I can always see them being held here. I'm going to say 1-1. Mill will take on Bristol City at the Den. 
And yeah, this is another interesting one. Millwall, um, they've drawn their last four league games. It's a ridiculous run. Um, Bristol City have also drawn drawn three of their last five and won the other two. Um, but yeah, Bristol City in ninth, Millwall in 19th. Probably would have said it would be the opposite um, at the beginning of the season. But yeah, Pearson's done a great job. Millwall, uh, yeah, keep on saying they need to get the season on track. And I think this might be the game. A scrappy 1-0 win will do for them. And moving on, Peaceborough take on Bournemouth at uh, the London, at um, the Western Home Stadium. And yeah, this is another interesting one. Bournemouth at uh, top of the league now by two points. And they're looking really strong. And Scott Parker, Peaterborough in 21st. Um, yeah, it looked like they were improving against Birmingham. But obviously had that setback against Coventry, which wasn't great for them. And I can see Bournemouth picking up a comfortable win here. I think it'll be 2-0 as they pick up another victory. Finally in the Championship, Fulham hosts Swansea at Craven Cottage. Yeah, Fulham, they're having a bit of a downspell at the moment. In all competitions, just um, one point from the last three games. Um, so, yeah, not looking great. They kind of need to recover some form. Swansea, um, yeah, one nil win last time out. But still, I, I do have my doubts about Swansea. In 17th, it's not been a great start to the season. And Fulham, this is a big opportunity for them to get back on track. And I think they will do here. Should be quite comfortable. And I'm going to say a 2 nil win. Moving on then. And we're going to do Champions League action now. Just the English clubs I'm going to do for the group stages at least. Starting off with Porto versus Liverpool. And Porto... Um, yeah, they've had a decent start to the season um, and drew against Madrid last time out. So, yeah, definitely not an easy uh, game for Liverpool at all. But, yeah, Liverpool, they're looking quite impressive to me in the Premier League at the moment. Really, really solid. Um, and I do think they will have enough to cruise past Porto here. Or not cruise past Porto, but I think they'll have enough to win. I'll say 2-0. Moving on then to the game that I think everyone is looking forward to this weekend. PSG versus Man City. And yeah, I can't wait for this. Obviously, it sounds like um, Lionel Messi may be a doubt. Um, but I, yeah, it still should be a great game without him. Um, Mbappe, Neymar, and then obviously the squad that Manchester City have. I really can't wait for this one. I think it'll be a tight game, and I think it will end in 1-1. Won't be boring, though. Moving on then to a repeat of the Europa League final on Wednesday, Manchester United versus Villarreal. And, yeah, you kind of get the feeling this is a big game for United. Obviously, losing to young boys last time out. Um, they'll want to get off the mark here as soon as possible. Um... And yeah, just avoid a repeat of the Europa League, really, because that was an embarrassing night for United. Um, I do think they have more than have the quality to get through. Maybe it'll take a bit of Ronaldo magic, um, but I think they will get through. I'll say 2-0. And moving on then, finally, Juventus versus Chelsea in another game that I'm really looking forward to. Obviously, we know it's been a torrid start for Juventus so far this season. Um, but yeah... In the Champions League, they could be different, you never know, against the Chelsea side that's flying right now. But it will be interesting to see uh, if there's any reaction at all to that extremely disappointing defeat um, to City in the, in the weekend. Um, but I'm not so sure. I think it'll be a close and tight game, and I think Chelsea will settle for the point. But anyway, guys, that's it for video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave the comments down below. Follow me on Twitter in the description below for daily football news and subscribe to my channel on screen right now. I'm greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.